Hello listeners, welcome to another episode of Love is Everywhere, the podcast. The show where I give comedians assignments of things that are supposed to make you happier. And then we talk about it, and we find out how it went. Today's guest is Tamira Siobhan. Oh, so happy to have her back on the show. Uh, she did an episode with us about a year ago. Almost. Wow. 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 <laughs> Sorry to... Time really flies. Uh, yeah, she did an episode with us last year uh, about mindful listening. Uh, it was a really good one, so you should absolutely go and check that one out as well. But this time, we're talking about self-care. Just getting into a basic routine of taking care of your, uh, you know, regular human needs. Uh, or in this case, plant-like needs. Uh, <laughs> it's a photosynthesis-based assignment. Uh, a little bit whimsical, you know? Let's add a little... A little joy into this. Uh, treat yourself like a plant. It's kind of fun. Uh, if you're having trouble treating yourself like a human, why not try treating yourself like a plant, you know? <laughs> if you want to support Tamara in general, you can follow her on Instagram at T-Mare, T-E-E-M-A-I-R. Uh, highly recommend that. Man, like, I'm telling you, of all the Instagram lives that have happened in recent months, <laughs> Tamara's are actually phenomenal <laughs> they're really worth watching anytime you see her go live you click on that baby uh if you want to support this podcast in general you can like rate and subscribe you could leave us a review uh you could email us i very rarely encourage the email you should you should do that you should email us tell us uh, tell us what's up tell us what episodes you like and tell us uh if anything has impacted you you can email us at love is everywhere podcast at gmail.com um, yeah, if you want to support uh, me and follow me on stuff, see pictures of my dog and all of that good stuff, you can follow me at, at @hameltrace. And in the meantime, please enjoy this conversation with Tamara Siobhan. Hello! Tamara! How's it going? So good. How are you? Oh man, it's been a crazy Monday. Oh boy. Um, as you know, we start with an honest "How are you?" So I suppose I should have answered it honestly. I'm I'm great today. You're great today. Yeah, today I'm feeling great. I'm just like in a good mood. I'm having a good day. It's nice outside. I'm just like in a really good mood today. Uh, in general. <laughs> <laughs> I feel that. In general, it's been all over the map. <laughs> Truly. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I honestly, I am I feel you. It's one of those things where I'm like, at least the sun's out. At least yeah. <laughs> the sun's out. <laughs> we have one week left of, I think, summer. Yeah. But it's been, it's been okay. I mean, the second wave thing's really stressing me out. Yeah, big time. <laughs> like, for real. But, uh, yeah, I mean, aside from that, I've been working a lot, so it's been, like, I feel, you know, things are, I'm not ready to work yet, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, life shouldn't be going on as, as regular. I shouldn't have to be working. Just coping. I should just right? be coping. That's what I'm saying. I feel like I should be like, I made it through the day. Congratulations to me. <laughs> yeah. Really, though. I think I've been, like, uh... I don't know, really struggling with the balance between productivity and rest lately. Yeah, I've been I've been really resting. Mm -hmm. That's good. <laughs> That's good. I've been resting a lot uh, to the point where maybe, you know, I should be doing more productive things, <laughs> but it takes a lot. Like, I have to make a to-do list. I have to, like, look yeah. at it for an hour, really be like, remember, this is your task. I think uh, what I'm... Uh, I'm starting to like look forward into like the coming year a little bit more right now, which I think is the case with a lot of us, especially here in Canada where the weather is changing. It We know that winter is next. We've been just kind of like looking to the next day and now we're looking down a, a season from now. <laughs> so <laughs> I've been thinking a lot about like, okay, what's this year going to look like for me? And uh, because I have some health stuff and things like that I'm being very careful right now so I'm not seeing many people I'm not going out anywhere I'm not performing even though we can be doing shows right now 
And so I've been thinking, okay, well, then maybe the next year is just me working on the podcast and working on myself and resting. Yeah. And just no. resting for a year. <laughs> Which, like, given the pace that I've been going at life, maybe that would be okay. And I could use just a, a year of prioritizing rest instead of everything else. But, I hear that so much. <laughs> oh boy, it's hard to wrap my mind around though. I've got that voice popping up that's like, oh, well then you've just, th then it's just a waste of a year. Then it's just a year that you've just set on fire and burned. But like, I've got both voices. I've got that. And then I've got the voice that's like, no, like prioritizing yourself and just taking time to work on yourself is fine. I think that it's that I fear not making progress, that yeah. I r am realizing. I think I've always, I've known this about myself for a, some time, but really realizing like, oh, I definitely measure meaning by progress. Yeah, same. Right? So it's like, if I don't progress over the course of a year, then there was no meaning in the year. Yeah. But, that, but that's so off base. I, it's hard though. When you're a comedian, it's hard because yeah. it's like, everything's based on what shows you're doing or how many people still remember you exist. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know, and then you're like, if I'm not doing anything, everyone's like, well, I guess you're not a comedian any anymore. You're, you have to be grinding 24 seven. I'm like, well, exactly. I feel like taking a, a year off, even if I'm like, you know, maybe I'll have ideas and stuff in that time. And, you know, I'm sure that the notes on my phone where I keep like premises and stuff like that, I'm sure that that would build up substantially and that I would have more to talk about the year that came after. So, yeah. Ah, man, but it's hard. It's really hard to not be like, oh, I need you quitter. You fucking quitter. <laughs> yeah, well, it's like, do you want to hear all of my depressing quarantine jokes? Because right? I have so many. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, though. Um, no, but I know it's been weird because it's been like, because you're not even doing shows, eh? No. Wow, how does that feel? Does it make you feel like weird? Like, oh, yeah. Well, I mean, it was, a, it was a month and a half stint. We're going back into not being able to do shows pretty soon. Mm -hmm. so yeah, like, I think so. I think it's going to be this limited little window. Where yeah, we'll it's like, like, a little burst just to tide us over through the winter. Isn't that crazy? It's like we went into lockdown during winter and now we're coming back into lockdown during winter. And I'm like, okay, so are those, is that the only season? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> winter is not coming. Winter is here all the time. Yeah. Perpetual winter. <laughs> Actually. Did we do your honest how are you? How you doing for real? Um, honestly, I am struggling with juggling work and like I'm a, like I'm also teaching, right? Which mm -hmm. is a whole situation because it's like we're like we're like my school, we're going it's a private school, so we're going in and we're teaching remotely from our schools, which is interesting. They're like, oh, we just want the students to be able to see the background. It's like, I can get a map of the world. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, that seems so weird to me. Yeah, they're like, we want to have the illusion. I'm like, okay, well, that's great. Like, I can put up a whiteboard anywhere. And that could just- Or like, you should just have like, Zoom has those backgrounds that you can just sub in for your background. <laughs> they should just make one of the school and then just have you do all of your calls with that background. <laughs> I feel like I know. I want to just go and take a picture of my classroom and be like, look, I've been here the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so it's been pretty hard just because it's like I, all of my work started coming back into like, as soon as it was like, okay, things are getting better. I was like, this is going to be short lived, but it's a lot. Mm. So I've been like, it's hard to juggle like work and my mental health and like a relationship. It's just like mm. a lot of like, having to care about other things before yourself. So. It's a it's a lot to balance regardless of a global pandemic. Right? right? Like just uh, just living in a normal world trying to balance relationship and job and like comedy yeah. and all of these things and your mental health. That's overwhelming all of the time. I have found that to be overwhelming my life so far. Uh so <laughs> <laughs> So then you throw a pandemic on top of that and everything becomes 10 times harder. Yeah. So it, honestly, so I'm, I'm, I'm pretty stressed. I'm like overwhelmed, I feel. But um, it's weird because I used to just do this all the time, nonstop. Yeah. And so having a break of not having to do it 
and then having to do it all over again and just trying to remember like why did I do this to myself it feels like um when you're running and then you stop to walk for a little bit and then you try to run again oh yeah I never start running again that's what it exactly (laughs) exactly so now we're at the point where like with work and stuff they're like okay start running again and you're like no 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 no." (laughs) like I'm not (laughs) Like, no, sorry, I'm a professional no. power walker now. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to get a sweatsuit. I'm going to get some little sweatbands. I'm going to go to the mall and I'm going to power walk around with the ladies. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to get my arms moving, wear some fabletics. Like, that's, yeah. that's who I am now. <laughs> I feel like, though, really, that would be the perfect pace to go at life. Yeah. Don't that's... run, just speed walk. Speed walk. You're going to get there faster than usual. Yep. You just don't have to run there. Like, yeah, it's you fine. won't be out of breath. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I can't, like, I, I don't want to be out of breath 24-7. Is speed walking then the perfect metaphor yeah. for life and balance? <laughs> yeah. Have we just dropped another gem of wisdom? <laughs> Honestly, like... If you're listening make- to this and you haven't listened to our other episode with Tamara, you need to go back. <laughs> <laughs> actually i think it's one of the best episodes that we've ever done really yeah yes i loved it when i was listening back to it i was like this was so much fun it was so much fun you also gave me the most aggressive task which was so hard i was like oh my god uh how do i do this let's talk about your assignment for this time I'm really curious about this one. I'm very, very excited about this. I don't want to. I don't want to taint your experience with my, <laughs> with my expectations. Uh, but the assignment that I gave you was that uh, you had to pretend that you were a plant this week. Mm-hmm. You wanted to work on self care and getting into a routine of taking better care of yourself. So I told you that you had to focus on photosynthesis for the week. So making yeah. sure that you're getting enough water, air, and sun. So two to three liters of water a day, thirty minutes of sun slash air. How did that go? Well, I peed a lot. Yeah, you would. <laughs> you pee a lot. When you drink enough water, you're like, am, am I seriously supposed to be doing this all the time? It's like half, half your day is peeing. <laughs> I, I'm like, okay, I got, I got to go to the bathroom again. Like, it's a good thing. Like, flushing everything out. <laughs> like, but it's true. Yeah. You're, supposed to, you're supposed to have to pee every hour. Yeah. It's th- like, that's crazy to me. Yeah. I have been drinking more water in general, but that was a lot. Like, just actually, like, is that supposed to be eight cups? Is that what that is? Um, so it's actually, mo- most people are supposed to get more than eight cups. Okay. Like, uh, you can calculate how much water you're supposed to get online. And I am supposed to drink 11 cups of water a day. What? Yeah. Wow. Okay. That's a lot. So more than two liters. Yeah, okay, I drank, I I got these massive bottles to fill up, and I've been, like, drinking water 24-7, and honestly, I felt like I was less tired, Mm -hmm. because water is, I guess, after watching um, Zac Efron down to earth, (laughs) (laughs) who I now like to call Professor Efron. Um, (laughs) For for (laughs) Efron. But, like, yeah, he was like, water, like, if you substitute that with coffee and it's good water, that's good for you, you get a better, like, effect than actually drinking coffee and being, like, really elevated for a bit and then crashing really hard. And so I was like, okay, well, this is, this is why I'm doing this task, I'm assuming. Mm-hmm. Um, but, no, I, getting the sun was interesting because it was cold. Um, but I've been trying to do 10,000 steps every day anyway. So that was nice to have like the sun and like the water but I did find that it was hard to plan to be outside yep yeah you get really overwhelmed with tasks that you have to do you're like well whatever and you try to prioritize other things before the actual being outside thing and I was like I gotta switch that and then after that maybe I'll feel better and want to actually do these tasks which is kind of what happened even if you can just get in a little bit of sunshine in chunks through your day like um you know if you usually take the subway three stops walking the three stops instead yeah if you have like a couple little chunks where you're just outside for 10 minutes three times a day yeah that's enough i oh i did it all at one time that's good that's okay that's even better okay (laughs) 
but if you but i'm saying if you can't find a 30 minute chunk in your day yeah. if you just get a cumulative 30 minutes of sunshine that would do it well i started telling people i was going into a meeting every time mm-hmm. i do my 30 minutes so i was like this is technically a meeting for myself i'm having a meeting with the sun <laughs> <laughs> that's how important i am <laughs> yeah, so we, the sun, we have this really sick meeting every day um <laughs> And honestly, we call each other on Zoom. Uh, right? <laughs> like, yeah, I treated it like I was like, oh, gotta go. Like, literally, I gotta, gotta attend my meeting, which was the only way I felt. Like, it was weird. I couldn't even, like, tell people, like, that I was just gonna go and get some sun. I felt guilty. Isn't that funny? Yeah. How, how guilty we're made to feel for just doing little things for yourself, like basic human need, like getting 30 minutes of sunshine. You're like, I gotta come up with some kind of reason why I need this. Yeah. Why I deserve this 30 minutes. <laughs> It's wild. I literally was like, okay, I feel like my mom's like, what do you mean? I was like, well, I need to go outside and just be in the sun, drinking some water. And she's like, okay, are you feeling okay? And I was like, yeah, I'm actually feeling a lot better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, and substituting a lot of that with wine, like, because wine is what I used to drink a lot of. Mm-hmm. So, like, wine down and now I'm having water and stuff. I'm like, okay, this is good. Right? I've started yeah. switching to water after my coffee like I have a coffee in the morning and then after like 12 or one o'clock in the afternoon I don't let myself have any more coffee but I carry water around in (laughs) this is the this is the trick I found to get myself to drink more water is that I carry it in a travel mug as if I were drinking coffee okay yeah trick the mind right so for you it would be like drinking water out of a wine glass Ooh, honestly Good call. Right? I'm about that life. Just trick yourself. Just do all kinds of little things to trick yourself. <laughs> I love when we can trick ourselves into self-love. Yeah. I just have to scheme my way into being good to myself. <laughs> Honestly, though, because I don't spend enough time doing anything for myself. I've, no. I've realized now that I just did this for a week. And it was kind of like... Yeah, I I kind of promised myself that when the pandemic started, I was never going to move that fast again. And now I feel like I'm moving faster. Yeah. And so this was a really nice way to like remember that I need to scale it back a bit. That's good. Yeah. That's so good. And sunshine makes a humongous difference. Yeah. Okay. Humongous so this, difference. Vitamin D is crazy. Like it really does change your mood. It, it changes your mood so much and uh, like it it impacts your health in so many ways like um i remember talking to somebody uh who has fibromyalgia and she was saying that like with any chronic illness that's ill understood and primarily affects women it's pretty self-guided your treatment like nobody's really guiding you through it you just have to kind of go to your doctor and be like i want to try this next and then they go okay and uh, you really? just keep, yeah, and you just keep working through things, trying to figure out what works. And talking to this person, they were like, "I have tried every single thing, <clears throat> and nothing has made more of a difference than thirty minutes of sunshine a day." No way. For real. Wow. Thirty minutes of sunshine. So you're really changing my life once again. Mm. That's what I'm here for, baby. <laughs> <laughs> And, like, in the winter, if you can't get outside for 30 minutes of sunshine, even, like, sitting by a window. Yeah. You know, like, like you you would with a plant. That's why, like, the plant metaphor and the photosynthesis idea is helpful because you remember, like, oh, right, like, I don't have to keep all of my plants outside. Yeah. I can keep a plant by a window, and that's fine. So just find a window that you would put a plant in, (laughs) meaning that it has adequate sun. Yeah. And just sit by that window for 30 minutes. Yeah, I was kind of treating myself like I was like a weed plant. Yeah. Like extra, extra love. I was like, I could be like a cactus, but like they don't really. No, don't treat yourself like a cactus. (laughs) Treat yourself like a plant that's like a little bit needy. Yeah, I went to like extreme needy. Mm -hmm. Weed plants are so needy. I'm like, that's why I can't. I'd kill every weed plant, but. A cactus. I almost killed my cactus. You understand (laughs) how crazy that is? It's because you're moving too fast. You're doing too much. They need to be watered every six weeks, and I forgot. Yeah. Like, oh, how? And like, literally, my boyfriend was like, um, so the cactus is looking dry. I was like, no way. No way. (laughs) Am I actually going to kill a cactus? That's crazy. So you're like, treat yourself like a plant. I was like, I don't think you've seen the other plants. Uh, 
Right? <laughs> the graveyard of plants. <laughs> yeah. My Ikea cactus was almost no longer. But we did water it, apparently. Two, every two months is too little. So every six weeks, which is like, you think the two weeks wouldn't make a difference, but it does. It does. It's the equivalent of a cactus running on fumes. Mm -hmm. so, and that's what you're doing right now. Yeah. Ooh, you're running on fumes. Yeah. And, like, I'm just so tired all the you're time. You're a dying cactus. <laughs> a dying cactus. <laughs> Don't be a dying cactus. Be a healthy cannabis plant. <laughs> Ooh, here we go. This is crazy. Like, we have so many bangers here. <laughs> This so episode big. is stacked already with <laughs> great yeah. little gems. Treat yourself like a, be a weed plant. Don't be a cactus. Mm -hmm. like, honestly, exactly. Title of this episode. <laughs> Give yourself lots of attention. Lots of sun. Lots of water. Lots of love. Yeah. Checking in with yourself all the time. The metaphor extends. Like <laughs> 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 You got to be like carefully inspecting your plant. Be like, is this plant okay? Is this plant healthy? Does this plant need anything right now? That's how you yeah. gotta be looking at yourself. Should I turn I, the plan? For, yeah, 100%. for me, like the last few weeks, I've been like, like I said, all over the map. Um, uh, just a really, really fascinating emotional landscape inside, <laughs> inside <laughs> of me right now. <laughs> and uh, I keep, you know, like classic me. I keep being like, oh, like I'm, like what's going on with me? Like what, what, what is this rooted in? Why am I feeling this way? Am I not like? loving my inner child enough you know and then it's like oh no maybe you just like need water <laughs> <laughs> maybe your inner child's just thirsty <laughs> yeah your inner child's just thirsty and not in the way that it's popular now like yeah. a genuine thirst it's like dehydrated <laughs> <laughs> yeah your inner child is running a marathon with no water exactly and, uh... so sometimes it's that stuff Sometimes it's just basic human needs. <laughs> yeah, literally. I think sometimes it's like um it's like a big headedness or like a hubris or something that I'm like I am beyond such trivial things. <laughs> like I I am beyond needing water. That's not <laughs> that's so below me. Honestly, I it was really funny because when you mentioned what I was going to have to do, I came back from three cottages in a row. And like the first cottage I went to, I was like having the time of my life. And on day two, I was like, oh, guys, is this water like good to drink? And they're like, sorry, you haven't drank water in two days? <laughs> and I was like, isn't there water in IPAs? And they're like, girl, like, how do you like, how are you asking on day two? nighttime <laughs> if you could drink from the tap the answer is no but <laughs> like, yeah so it's like you know what this water challenge is actually very key for my life since mm. i forget it exists like, i never ever drink enough water no mm -mm. i didn't even know until like i'd gotten like so drunk for the beginning part of university and then I found out someone's like, yeah, you know, the cure to not having a hangover is drinking water before bed. I was like, what? Like, <laughs> I didn't know that. And like, yeah, if you just drink like a liter of water before bed and like don't pee your mattress, you will wake up not hungover or in shape. Like, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? <laughs> like, it's, it's great. So it's, yeah, I've had a problem with water for a while. It's mind blowing. I like, I don't think that I ever was offered a glass of water or even saw my mom drink a glass of water growing up <laughs> i don't oh. think so i really don't think so my mom my mom's like a little kid so she was always drinking like pop or chocolate milk <laughs> all the time uh. <laughs> and uh i remember grade 12 i was at my boyfriend's house at the time and he filled up a pint glass with water and was drinking this glass of water and i was like what are you doing <laughs> It was like so strange to me that you would just have a glass of water, especially such a big glass. I was like, I was like, what is, what are you doing? I was like weirded out by it, and that's when I realized, like, oh, <laughs> something's amiss. <laughs> Maybe I haven't had water in seventeen years. Right. It's wild. Like I don't know. I I just I don't even understand. Like. 
I drinking this much water and how much I peed made me realize I'm really not drinking water. Yeah. And it just makes you like, it just makes everything so much easier. You're not as hungry. Mm-hmm. Who knew? Now I understand what JLo has been talking about this whole time. She's well, gonna get often really- when you think that you're hungry, you're <laughs> usually just thirsty. It's like those feelings feel really similar. So <laughs> you identify it as, oh, I'm feeling hunger, but you're actually feeling thirst. What? Mm-hmm. Man, I'm probably always thirsty and not actually hungry. Also, like, a nice trick is uh, if you have a beverage that you want to really enjoy and savor, drink a glass of water first. Yeah. And then you'll drink that drink slower. Yeah. Like... So if you have, like, a really tasty wine, mm-hmm. you're, if you're thirsty, you're going to kind of chug back that first glass and not even really enjoy it. Right. So drink a glass of water first, and then you'll sip it. I hope you're also teaching me how to drink properly. <laughs> <laughs> We're really covering all of the bases today. <laughs> you're like, and if you uh, don't want to drink a whole bottle of wine when you can only have two glasses, mm. try water. Try water. Yo, I love that. <laughs> Advice to take with me for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I don't know. I, um, I kind of did some of this with my sister. Like, so what I did when I was outside in the sun, I like did little mini hikes, which were, I love that. Uh, yeah. Cause I was like, well, I'm already outside. Um, mm-hmm. but my sister's like, you know, she's an emotional terrorist. So um, <laughs> <laughs> I like leisurely walks. She's like, we're going to climb this mountainside up and down four times. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Well, I'm going to need way more water than I mm-hmm. brought. It's like, it kind of works out both ways. But I did feel so much better. It really does change things, huh? It does. I feel like I need to schedule this into my life. Yeah. Yeah, you do. And Is that like, what you're doing? And it, I'm trying to. And, uh, like, it should be above everything else. Yeah. Like, I'll go through periods where I'm like, okay, I'm going to really prioritize eating well. And that's the only thing that's important today. Even if you don't do anything else, accomplish anything else, progress in any way, as long as you ate healthy today, then today was a good day. Yeah. So you just got to do that with things like water as well. Being like, as long as I drank enough water, I did my job today. So what are we thinking about like the substitute of like tea and stuff? Does tea work the same way or no? Tea is good. Tea is still hydrating. Um, it's not as good as water. Yeah. Same with juice. Like, juice is also hydrating, but it has so much sugar in it that it doesn't really pay off the same way. I get, like, juice cravings, and I'm like, maybe I should have just been drinking water the whole time. I love juice. I love I, juice. And I, I don't even, like, I can't even have, like, you know, a Perrier with little hints of, like, water. Like, I need, like, a full-blown, like, Welch's white grape, like, mm-hmm. That's a rich juice. (laughs) (laughs) It's a a rich, thick juice. (laughs) Like, like, or those, like, mango nectars. I'm like, now we're talking. Yeah, a nice, thick juice. (laughs) (laughs) Right? Like, straws are like, oh, my God. Like, I don't know. That kind of juice. So, I'm like, that's probably counterproductive. So, I'm probably going to just go with the water thing. Mm -hmm. But um, alkaline water, I was trying to get into. I don't know anything about that. It's like, um, it's good for like your brain as well. So like flow water, if you like drink it after like you have a headache or if you're like hungover, anything that has to do with like your brain and like also your body like hydrates, not only like your body, but also your brain. Cool. Hydrate your brain. Right. Which is like, I don't need Advil and stuff. So I haven't had to take that many Advils or like naproxens in a while because I drink flow water, but. They come in like a paper, like and which okay, love paper. It's so down to this, but it's like the flow containers, are like those McDonald's cups, like where you don't mm-hmm. if you don't have the lid, it's like the cup doesn't exist. Yeah, <laughs> like <if you> have <laughs> McDonald's lid, your cup is like triangular somehow. <laughs> yeah, it's really holding its shape only because of the load bearing lid. Like literally, so this flow thing, it's just like okay, yeah, I get it. It's all paper, but like it's falling apart in my hand. So I try to put that into a different water bottle that's just like a reusable one because I can't, I can't just walk around with paper cartons. Like I go through periods of trying to make my water more interesting, like putting a little bit of lemon in it or 
um, a little bit of apple cider vinegar in water. Yeah. Okay. So I used to do that before every like meal. And then I just mm-hmm. stopped doing it one day. Like, honestly, you just saying that now, right now reminded me I did that. Yeah. Like, oh yeah. So you apple cider vinegar mouth. is amazing. It's yeah. like a miracle thing. <laughs> like one of those. <laughs> it's so one good. of those multi-purpose like miracle cure things. It's fantastic. Man, I like I can't believe you're rem- you're reminding me of so many things of like my this is why this podcast. <laughs> it's it's like, free. <laughs> it's like love Can is you not believe only it? everywhere. Memories are everywhere right now. Like, oh, <laughs> yeah, no, for for sure. For real, I'm like super pumped about it. So no, I actually enjoy doing this. Good. Um I had one slip up day, which I was like, shit. Um, my bad. What'd you do? Um, um, I just didn't do anything. I didn't drink enough water. I didn't get outside, and it was the worst day of my week. Yeah. I was going to ask, how do, how do you feel on this day after having all these days where you were taken care of physically? Uh, yeah, no. It's just like I'm picking fights with people. Like, not on purpose. I'm just, like, irritated. It's like I just yeah. need to, like, have – I was like, I didn't realize how much it was doing for me every day. And then I had one day that I slipped up, and I was like, I need to <laughs> start drinking this water. Like, this is crazy. Yeah. I, yeah, there's just like uh, so many things that come up as a result of neglecting these kind of things that you don't connect to it. Like you would, if you were just having a day where you were irritable, you probably wouldn't be like, oh, I'm irritable. I must not be drinking enough water. Yeah. You know, you wouldn't connect those dots. Never. And it kind of makes you start uh, scanning your environment for reasons you're upset because we like to understand why. And we like a story. Our brains like a story. So you're feeling irritable. And then you're like, why am I feeling irritable? And then you might start spinning a like, oh, well, it's probably because this person is doing this thing. Or like you start spinning a reason why to justify the feeling when really it's probably just you need a goddamn glass of water. (laughs) Actually, actually, though, and like I'm like, I need to start, I need to start, like, you know those people that have those little backpacks that have water in them all the time? Yep. Just, like, walking around, I'm like, I want to be that person. Right with the little hiking backpack? Yeah, they just always look like they're ready to climb Mount Everest, like, I need that life. Have you ever looked up um, people who've done uh, one month of drinking enough water? No. Have you seen this? So this is, like, a thing on the internet where uh, people do 30 days of drinking the amount of water you're supposed to as, like, a month-long water challenge. Okay. And they take pictures of themselves and, like, uh, tell you how they were feeling from, like, week to week. And they look dramatically different by the end no. of the month. What? Some of these people looked, like, ten years younger. No. <laughs> no. Yeah. I feel like that would be me. I would be me for sure. Like all these things that I think are like, oh, I'm just in my 30s now are probably actually just I'm not drinking enough water. That's the thing, though. Like when you get older, you start realizing like when I was like 22, I was like, oh, what's water? I guess I'll drink it now. Like, oh, what's like what's going to fresh? Fresh is just like, you know what I mean? Like Mm -hmm. what's, what's eating vegan? Like and now I'm just like, you don't have to be vegan to eat vegan things. You don't have to be like. Oh, and you don't have to be runner. a marathon runner to drink water. <laughs> oh my god, we have the same point! <laughs> Quarantine can't stop us! <laughs> <laughs> Literally, though, and so I'm realizing now, like, with age, I'm like, I gotta just, like, like, things just affect my body so much differently yeah. than I'm used to. And I have to realize, like, that's gonna be a change, and I'm, I can't just, like, live the way that I used to, which is why I'm like, it was a perfect time for you to be like, hey, you want to do this podcast? I'm like, oh, I can't wait to be better. <laughs> <laughs> like, literally, this is going to be so good for me right now. And you feel good? You've had a hydrating week. You feel good? Yeah, I do feel good. Honestly, I feel a lot. Like, my allergies were a little bit, like, I have really bad oh, allergies. Oh, me summer. too. And the right now, it's been brutal. The fall is awful. <laughs> yeah, the fall is brutal. People don't think fall allergies are a real thing. I'm like, that's the worst time. Yeah. And so water, drinking a lot of water was actually helping with, like, the roof of my mouth being, like, the itchiest ever. And, like, just trying to, like, breathe. Like, I'm still going through it. <laughs> like, I'm still struggling. 
through the allergy stuff, but I had to take less allergy pills, actually. That's good. Yeah. And that's like a measurable difference. Yeah, it's for my wallet and for the amount of pills. Yeah. Allergy pills are so expensive. I need people to They're extremely to expensive. They're, like, and like when it's allergy season, you have to take them every day. And oftentimes you have to take them for a couple of weeks every day before they even start kicking in. Yeah. And people are just like, why don't you just get like this no name brand? I'm like, because it's not non drowsy and I'll never be able to see anybody again. Mm-hmm. Like, you take an allergy pill and it's like, cool. They're like, yeah, see, it works. I'm like, I'm also unconscious. So, yeah. Like- <laughs> it's like, yeah, my allergies are gone because I'm unconscious. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, of course they're gone. Like, I don't know yeah, what Yeah, I don't sneeze right in my sleep. <laughs> right? Like, I'm sure if I took a sleeping pill that I also wouldn't feel allergies. Yeah. It's like being like, look, this depression medication's working because you're sleeping. It's like, well, yeah. yeah. (laughs) Of course it is. (laughs) Right? It's just, I don't know. But no. How do you you sleep? Do you get enough sleep? (sighs) I don't even want to tell you. I know this is going to be my next challenge. (laughs) I, (laughs) I, uh, I do like that thing where I don't sleep for a bit and then I sleep a lot, mm. and, like, it's actually been proven your body does not ever catch up on sleep. It only takes in the sleep that you're supposed to get for that day, so I'll sleep for, like, two hours, one, like, so, yeah, I'll sleep for, like, two hours one day, and then I'll sleep for, like, 13 hours three days later, mm-hmm. and thinking that, I was like, oh, well, that made up for, like, two days in between. It's like, no, now you just slept for 13 hours this one day, and now your body's like, why are we sleeping so much Then you're so tired? And you don't feel good on those days either. A day no. where you slept 13 hours, you wake up feeling miserable. Yeah, you feel the like I can't go to sleep before three thirty a.m. Like mm-hmm. I don't know what is up with that. I just physically can't. I get and it. I I'm get a it. I'm a night person too, and a bit of an insomniac in times. And uh, yeah, it's just so hard for me to get myself to shut off at the end of the day. Yeah. Even yeah. just like mentally, like to get myself even to the point where I'm truly trying to sleep, like lying in a dark room with n- no television playing or anything just lying in silence to get myself to do that is a struggle oh yeah for sure my brain is very resistant to the idea of powering down (laughs) well like i think that like i feel my best when nobody else is awake Mm -hmm. because i feel i can get more stuff done so it's like sometimes when things are going really hectic throughout the day i'm like at 1 a.m when like my room will just be me and no one's calling me, and no one's really tagging anything on Instagram or, like, Facebook or, like, whatever. It's, like, I can just be by myself and do all these things, which is, like, why can't I just do that in the day? Yeah. There's no answer. Like, I don't, I just, I feel like my body's just, like, no, this is, like, a routine you've gotten into, and I need to get out of it. How's the quality of sleep when you are asleep? Do you wake up through the night? I wake up every two hours. Oh. I know. Oh, my God. Tamara. (laughs) I've that's always not even, been bad. That's, oh, that's the worst. Because also, like, a sleep cycle is an hour and a half. So yeah. you're doing a cycle and a half, almost, and then waking up. So you're also waking up in the middle of a sleep cycle every time. So you, oh, is that why I'm so tired? Yeah, so you wake up not rested because you're supposed to sleep in increments of an hour and a half. So, oh. like, three hours instead of two hours. It's or hours. seven and a half hours instead of eight hours. Really? Mm-hmm. This eight hour thing is just all a lie. Yeah, it should be in increments of an hour and a half. And you wow. should make sure that you're trying to wake up at the conclusion of a sleep cycle. But, oh my God, you're probably not even like, do you dream? I have really, really crazy dreams. Because you're not um, even like sleeping deep. I... You're only sleeping that long. I also have, like, sleep paralysis, so I can feel myself going to sleep, mm-hmm. which, like, yesterday was the first time I've had it in a while. Like, I haven't had it in, like, a couple months. But, um, yeah, I can feel myself going to sleep, and I think I'm actually paralyzed. And I'm like, oh, I'm trying. And I'm like, to move, I'm like, oh, my God, I'm, like, messing up my brain function. I feel like I'm going to, like, reset my body. So that was, like, but it's been really hard in that sense. But sleeping with somebody else, so I had to start quarantining with another person. Mm-hmm. And... Like, he's a very light sleeper, and I'm a very deep sleeper until I wake up. So, but I don't know what's happening during that time, so I must be doing something in my sleep or, like, kicking him or I don't know. (laughs) But 
just having to share my my space in my bed has really yeah not been good for me being able to sleep and so now when I'm by myself I feel weird that I'm not sleeping beside somebody and so I I just I'm having problems with sleep <laughs> clearly you should be taking CBD oil yeah okay so I have some of that but I keep forgetting to take it does that work that yeah help? so CBD oil is supposed to be good for restful sleep so like THC will help you fall asleep, but CBD is what helps you get like REM sleep, like deep levels of sleep. I'm doing so many things wrong, and this was what happens every time I see you. So you take it an hour before bed, if okay. you're taking it for sleep. Yeah. Um, and you got to take it every day. Oh man. Okay, I have like a whole bottle. Because it's one of those things like allergy pills, where like your body has to get used to it being in the environment before it starts like really putting it to work i only ever have cbd oil when i'm having like cramps no every day <laughs> if you're gonna it do it works. you gotta do it every day yeah it never works I'm like why isn't it working like i'm mm -hmm. you could do a you stuff. could do more of it or a higher dose on a day where there was some particular extra thing going on like a headache yeah. or you know things like that but uh yeah you should be doing it every day okay I, you're like my new doctor. <laughs> I would like to say I am 100% not qualified to be a doctor. I'm not <laughs> a medical professional at all. Uh <laughs> if Zach Efron can do it, anybody can. <laughs> he was in the high school musical. Now he's like telling me how to keep like my body in check after he's been on keto for 10 years. I'm like, okay, I don't even know how you got this special, but like, I'm about it. <laughs> <laughs> He's just so good to look at. I'm like, oh my gosh, like, is that who you are now? Right. Have you seen, have you seen Down to Earth? There have been some changes. Right? <laughs> He's a dramatically different looking person than he was. <laughs> right? I'm like, like, you know how there are those actors who, like, have not changed at all in their appearance over, like, 20 years? They just yeah, look like, exactly the same? He's, like, the opposite. It's, like, every two years, he looks like a completely different person. <laughs> right? like, like he's shed his skin suit and then put on another one that was like yeah this is close enough honestly i'm like <laughs> what's going on right now like i never thought there'd ever be a day that high school musical zach efron would be teaching me about plant-based life and like <laughs> water and like you know society and energy i'm like what what a world i know i know i'm like that's gonna be us one day that's gonna be you right maybe yeah, that's totally going to be you. And I'm going to be on there every week being like, so this is what I fucked up now. <laughs> and then we'll talk it out. Yeah. <laughs> and then we're going to like accept a speech. Like I'm going to have a speech one day and accept some award and be like, none of this would be possible without Tracy. <laughs> I can't <laughs> wait. <laughs> yeah. No, that's what's going to happen. I'm like convinced. Um, what are... Uh... And anything that you're doing in this vein right now to try and take better care of your body outside of this assignment? Yeah. So I, like, like I was saying before, I've been trying to do 10,000 steps a day. Yeah. Um, just because I, I've realized that now I'm past the point of, you know, like people that go to the gym and stuff. First of all, how, I don't get how people are going to a gym right now. Like I, they're like, Oh, well, if my lungs are strong enough, COVID won't get me or whatever. Like it's insane. But I just decided that gym life is not for me anymore. Running is not really going to be for me. I'm going to be one of those people that do, like, you know, like, curves workouts. You know, remember mm -hmm. curves? Yeah. Where it's, like, 30 minutes. Oh, yeah. Just, like, fuck working out or whatever they do. Um, <laughs> 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 they get on an elliptical and they're like, oh, they, like, do, like, a circuit. They mm -hmm. do, like, 13 seconds on every <laughs> machine or whatever. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Yeah, then they walk out. Yeah, I was just like, I'm just going to walk. And hopefully things will just be better. So I've just been doing like the Beltline tra Trail in Toronto a lot. Like it's like eight kilometers, eight to 10 kilometers doing that, which is like 15,000 steps. So I'll do that every other day. And then I just try to walk at least 10,000 steps a day. That's great. Um, I try to only have McDonald's once a week. It's been hard. Um, you know, I, I love chicken nuggets. It's um, tough. It's really hard, but like making food, making my own food is just really key because i just don't know what people are putting in stuff and i don't want anyone making my food right now yeah <laughs> yeah so that's kind of what i've been doing just like ten thousand steps making food and then just like trying to not eat anything fried so like i haven't even tried the popeye sandwich everyone thinks i'm crazy 
<laughs> You're have you wrong. It? Have you tried it? No. Yeah. I'm not, I'm like, I don't know. I, Cause I've been getting, I started getting like heartburn a lot. Mm-hmm. Which is like weird for me. Cause I never got that before. And it's like, I realized I just had a lot of like acidity in my diet. And I was like, okay. I need to start, like, that's why this water thing, I was like, okay, I ready? Because I went to, oh, I didn't tell you this. This is really important. What? Tell me, um, tell me, tell me. So in the process of this whole assignment, me and my sister found a natural, like, water spring. Like a, a oh. Spring. Yeah. And it's in Ajax. Well, no, it's in Uxbridge. Anyway, we had to drive all the way up this, like, street. We found it. And it's just a place that has a full, like, or little twos, it's all spring water, and you people go there and they fill up these huge tubs of water. And That's it's so really cool. Good for you. Yeah, it has really good alkaline levels. It's like all approved, all good to drink. And so we mm. just got a bunch of free water, so I've been drinking a lot of that. That's amazing. And that was inspired by you being like, hey, drink a lot of water. And my sister's like, well, I heard about this water spring. We should go. Yeah. And it was so cool. And it was just so nice to be like, outside in nature and getting something from nature that's not mm-hmm. being abused that's going to be like good for me and that's everybody beautiful. else that yeah it so feels like, like <laughs> i'm i'm a dork but the, my mind went to this being like a video game like a zelda style video game and i sent you on a mini quest yeah where i was like <laughs> i was like bring me a special water <laughs> <laughs> seriously i like got there and it was like an achievement unlock i was like oh my god like mm-hmm. it was great like so that water, we got, what, like, 17 liters of it? And we nice. filled it up in these, like, things from Canadian Tire that we got that have, like, their own spout. And it's the best water. Like, water has a taste. Yeah. Like, this water tasted amazing. It's, like, you get really excited about water. Like, I get so excited about water. Like, I get excited about, like, a new ounce of weed I've never tried. hmm Like, I'm just like, ooh. Like, I'm going to, like, talk about this for weeks. Like, that's, and yeah, I can't, almost forgot to talk about it. But, yeah. So it's great water and beautiful. Free, free water. Beautiful. Right? I forget what it's talking about. Oh, it's talking about the Popeye's chicken sandwich before. So quite a change. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, yeah, in lieu of the Popeye's chicken sandwich, I've decided to only drink natural spring water. <laughs> <laughs> That's the direction I've decided to take instead of the substitute. <laughs> I understand you guys layer the bottom with jalapenos, but have you tried the spring water? Yeah. Oh, you buy your water? I forage for mine. <laughs> right? I felt like, I felt like such a hunter-gatherer. I was like, this is, like, a new me. Like, oh my god, who is that? Yeah, I was about that, like, hardcore. Uh, got me out there in Uxbridge, Tracy. <laughs> I sent this week. I sent Tamara to a spring in Uxbridge. <laughs> right? I was like, "Look at you out here making moves." Yeah, Look that's at right. Live to water. I was like, "Okay," uh, but it just kind of makes you think, like, what is going on with the water here? Like, it's so easy to get. Like, why is it so expensive? Yep. <laughs> what are you gonna do? We need two to three liters a day. All right, two to three, which is like. I measured that when you said that, like how much it was. I was like, that's like a box of wine. Like, it's that's- a lot. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot. If I drank a box of wine on my face, like we wouldn't be here right now. But like, honestly. Like, like- if you picture one of those like two liter cartons of like milk or juice. Yeah. It's like one and a half of those. Yeah, that's so much. So what you have to drink is a lot of water. Do you drink tap water or do you drink like bottled water? I drink tap water. I like tap water. The tap water at my house is good. Um, the water in the bathroom is the best. Water in the bathroom is always the best. I've heard I that. know. Why is that? Why? Why is the water in the bathroom always better? Same with, like, uh, at, a, at any school, the water by the gym is always better. Yeah. The it's water so fountain by the gym is always colder. And yeah. it's always better. Why is it always colder? And it, why is the bo- bathroom water always colder? It's crazy. Why is that, though? Like, I actually don't get it. I don't know, um, but it always tastes better. It's so much better. Like, I, I love tap water. Like, tap water is... I, I grew up in Scarborough, but I moved to Pickering, and, like, we're right beside the nuclear power plant, which is mm-hmm. shutting down soon. So everyone was very weary about drinking the water there. It's like, no, it's, like, not good for you. But I was like, honestly, I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> we got, like, a water tester, and it was, like, perfectly fine water. 
but everyone was like, no, I'd rather buy all of this water for so expensive. I was like, my sister was buying cases of water for $35 a case. Oh my God. Like, do you know how many nuggets that is? Like, that's so crazy. And to think, <laughs> this whole time in humble Uxbridge, Ontario, <laughs> <laughs> there has been a spring of beautiful fresh water for Seriously. free <laughs> honestly i'm going to send you a video of this after we're done please okay. do please do like, i'll post it on the loves everywhere page <laughs> oh my god actually do that yes i'm so about this we're i can't even believe this but we're coming to the end of our time <laughs> what <laughs> This happened, this happened last time, too. We're like, shit, we gotta wrap it up, I guess. Am I correct in this? This That seems truly impossible. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We've got about about five minutes before we have to wrap it up, which is crazy talk. Yeah. I don't understand how this has happened. We always have too much fun, though. That this yeah, it's true, we do. Like, We're I, too dynamic of a duo. I know. Be restricted to only one hour. One hour is, like, not enough for us ever. And I actually miss you because I haven't seen you in so long. I know. I miss you, too. And we were supposed to do... I love this. We were supposed to do lunch plans. And then yeah. we both forgot. We both forgot. <laughs> we both forgot. We made plans. We both forgot. Like, a day later or something, we both remembered. We're yeah. like, oh, shit. We were supposed to have lunch. <laughs> and then... <laughs> and then... Yeah. Uh, and then a pandemic hit. And then COVID hit. And I was just like, okay. <laughs> but, like, it was so funny that we were both just like, yeah, it's 100%. And then, like, it was the same day that we were just like, oh my god, just was coming to text you, like, out yep. of here. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I don't know. I actually don't know. Do you actually, like, work on all the things that you give people assignments for first and then give them out? Yeah, not necessarily, like, um, in a regimented sense. Like, I don't necessarily do the exercise for the week leading up to it, um, okay. like, alongside the guest, but it'll be things that I have applied in my life at various points. Right. Or things that I come back to off and on. Yeah. Like, like I said, like, this is super cool that you do this. And it's like really like refreshing to have like a comedian that's like trying to make their life better. <laughs> <Not worse. laughs> like single-handedly making the Toronto community not garbage is so crazy of a task. I wonder, like, I wonder if this podcast, we're almost at a year of running what? this podcast, which is insane. That's yeah. crazy. I know. We're almost at a year. And uh, I wonder if, like, if this podcast were to continue for a couple of years and I were to make my way through everybody in the comedy community, if, uh, like, in, here in Toronto, if but all the comedians in Toronto would just be, like, super mindful, like, all doing mindfulness exercises and... Honestly! <laughs> and, uh, like... <laughs> It's like, if you, if you work on every Toronto comic with Love is Everywhere, will subtweeting still exist? Right? <laughs> <laughs> Can I solve this problem? <laughs> Actually, though, I'm, I'm, I'm committed. I think that you could. I'll do my best. But it's also just like, what a task. Uh <laughs> it's quite an undertaking. I know how hard it is to get me to do these things yeah. <laughs> and this yeah. is like my whole thing <laughs> so <laughs> i'm very forgiving of people and knowing like yeah it's 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 hard to be good to yourself For and sure. it, it's hard to keep your priorities straight um and putting taking care of yourself up at the top but sure. yeah because you've had people that you've given tasks to that couldn't do them right yeah, I've had people who haven't done their assignment. Um, I don't know if I've had anybody on the podcast, but when I was doing it as a live show, yeah. I definitely had a few times where people didn't do their assignments. But I also, like, uh, truly don't mind that, even. Yeah. Like, if you didn't do your assignment, it's like, okay, great, let's talk about that. Like, let's talk about what got in the way for you and why you were resistant to trying it or, like, what's underneath yeah. that. Let's talk about that. So... I'm a very, like, yeah, open to whatever anybody's experience was with the assignment. Like, we've definitely had people who didn't like their assignment. <laughs> we've had people who have come on and be like, I really hated this. <laughs> By the way. Yeah. <laughs> Courtney Gilmore did not enjoy making silly faces in the mirror every morning. Oh, she did that's... not like that. <laughs> oh, 
bless her. But also, I feel like that's fine. She's doing fine. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. like, if anybody do- truly, like, does not need my advice or this podcast, it's Courtney Gilmer. She's... <laughs> I, I literally need this every week. So, like, <laughs> yeah, Courtney Gilmer's like an angel that we don't deserve. Exactly. <laughs> Look, she has ascended above us all and is <laughs> actually though I'm like oh. is like an a, a a true angel so <laughs> I actually love her so much she's the best like speaking of people being the best we should start to wrap things up now so as you know we end by me giving the guest a genuine compliment oh yeah yeah I'm excited um it's hard because I have already given you a compliment. So uh, to add on to whatever it was that I said previously, um, you're just a joy and a delight. I'm so happy to have you on the show again because I've literally been wanting to rebook you since we did the first one. Oh, nice. Like, I think that you walked out the door and I shut the door and went, how long do I have to wait before I can have her on again? <laughs> That's actually so sweet. Oh my God. And I've been... I've been saving it, like, uh, I bet, like, I've looked at my booking list, like, I keep a list of people that I want to have on, and I've been looking at your name, and every time I'm like, oh, should, should I message, no, save it, save oh. it, save it for, like, when you really need it, and so, because I've been feeling, like, low the last couple of weeks, and sort of all over the place, I was like, now is the time, like, oh. now is the time, I want to talk to Tamara. <laughs> I love that. And I've been looking forward to it all week. Me too. Mm -hmm. I know that you don't usually do this, but I like to end by giving you a compliment as well. (laughs) 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 Which I did last time too, but you are just like truly a light and so fun to be around. And like, I actually, every time I see you, I realize how much I miss you, but you just have like this energy that is just so gravitating that I love being around all the time. And I wish we could be around each other more often because if you honestly make me feel so much better every time I talk to you, not in a way that I feel like you're, like, I hope I'm not, like, exerting a lot of, like, energy onto you that you're like, oh my god, this girl's a lot. But, no, because like, I feel the same. I also feel better after talking to you. Yeah. Like, yeah, you so it's not, that. like, a one-way thing where, like, I feel depleted. Absolutely not at all. Okay, sweet. Because that's how I feel about you. I just feel like there's just something about your energy that's just so calming and grounding and so nice to be around. And it's always a pleasure. So I'm so happy that you had me back. It's been so much fun. <laughs> You're the best. <laughs> You're the best. I love you. We're going to have to, like, regardless of how often I repeat any other guests, it's going to be like, yeah, I know I haven't gotten you on yet, but I really need to have Tamara on again. We're kind of going through a thing. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'll get to you, but, like, I really have to have Tamara on. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. This is now our podcast. Yes, it is. <laughs> and listeners... Go be nice to yourself, uh, drink a bunch of water, and remember that love is everywhere. Yeah. <laughs>